Hello, let's so welcome back to my channel, guys. You know, I really shouldn't have started the channel, I mean, the uh, video. I forgot what I was going to talk to you guys about. Oh, I was going to tell you guys about uh, how things is funny in this community. How when you want a baby really, really bad and you don't get it or you miss the opportunity or you feel like you missed the opportunity, but somehow that that baby or that sculpt circle back around to you and it just feels like it's meant to be so um I've been telling like different of my friends these you know this a lot because a couple of them have gotten babies that they thought they would not get and it's like the baby end up in their collection like the exact baby um and some of them it was just the sculpt itself so I find that interesting I'm gonna get Tyler I almost changed Tyler's name, guys, but I think I'm going to name my other baby the other name that I was thinking of naming him. So, Tyler doesn't have on any pants, as you guys can see. He just have on his shirt, his, his onesie, and his diaper. He's a cuddle baby, but like I said, for me, I know it is custom that we want to you know make them look as real as possible especially when we're taking photos and on camera but for me I know he's he's I mean I, I know all of us know that they're not dolls and stuff I mean that they're not <laughs> that they're not dolls that they're not real but you know it just it's just it's just nice to see them look more realistic um originally I was looking for the pants to go to this outfit, but I think it's in the other drawer and I just didn't feel like it. And he just looks so cute and just, you know, just uh, cuddled up in the uh, bassinet. So I said, you know what? I'm going to leave him like that. So anyway, guys, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And you guys know I love to read your comments, so please leave me your comments, your thoughts, um, which baby you would love to see next. Uh, also guys, if you're not part of the paid channel membership, please make sure you join. It is $4.99 to join. Um, and if you're new to my channel, please feel free to look back at some of my older videos and then if you want to up your, update yourself to see what babies that are still in my collection or probably closest to what's still in my collection, check out my most recent nursery tour. And that kind of gives you an idea of what babies are here. Because um, I get a lot of people asking for babies that I had in 1968. And it's like, <laughs> no baby, that baby been gone long, long time ago. Since 1972. Uh, Anyway, so he don't mind him. He's just going to get all his cuddles in while we chat. But um, so I, I am painting a cuddle with hands and feet um, and another cuddle with hands and feet. And this one is for my personal collection. But it's funny because I wanted this particular baby at one point and I was in that phase of I'm not spending that for a cuddle. <laughs> just for the head, you know, and it, it didn't have hands and feet back then because it was like at that point, um, people wasn't really putting hands and feet with the cuddles that hadn't became a thing as much. So I, at that time I, I was like, oh, I don't know. And then by the time I did say, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go for it. Um, oh, I know what else stopped me. It had painted hair. And I do not like painted hair. Um, it's my personal preference. I think some look really nice. Um, I think I'm more out to do combo hair on Reborns. But silicone, absolutely not. I don't want a silicone with painted hair. At, no. I do have some that might have like the little edges a little bit painted. Um, where um, Claire painted and uh, did uh, root it. But it's barely, barely painted, and you can't tell because of how fine it is. But a whole painted head silicone, I don't want it. Um, so that's that was a, a deal breaker for me. 
I think that was what it was. And I asked, could I get one rooted? And that was like a no at the time, I think. Um, so with that being said, I really, really like the scope. And then here comes what a year or two later. Um, the scope, somebody else end up, uh, buying the rights to produce it. So I end up buying me one of the heads. So I, um, it's, it's just a funny story, but I end up buying one of the heads and I, so now I'm painting it for myself. So I'm excited. Hopefully it comes out nice because the one that I liked was painted really nice. Um, and even the painted hair looked nice on it, but it just wasn't my cup of tea. And back then I wasn't rooting. So anyway, it's just funny how stuff will come back, uh, circle around. Um, so, so I feel like it's just meant to be when, you know, even if this baby don't stay in my nursery, it was meant for me to get the opportunity to, um, to, uh, paint the baby, have the baby and stuff. So it's pretty cool. Sometimes I feel like they're meant to stay though. Um, and so those babies I tend to hold on to, uh, believe it or not, I put Paris Mia Moore, which is my oldest reborn. That's 10 years old. I put her up for sale twice I think and um even though she was a popular baby for my collection at the time um she did not get sold and she was up for like a week and I took her down and then I put her up another time I don't know how long I left her up then but she didn't get sold and I said you know what I'm crazy why would I try to sell her and I never tried to put her up for sale again and I kept her and she's been here with me for 10 years now. So, you know, like I said, some babies are going to just stay. <laughs> right, Tyler, are you going to stay? He said he, he hopes he gets to stay. You gotta be a good boy. If you do too much pooping, you have to go to a mommy. <laughs> um, also guys, I wanted to tell you guys, and I keep my scarf on because I hate hair hanging in my face so it keeps the hair over to the side, but the other thing I wanted to tell you guys is um, the other day I, I said I wasn't going to work on the weekends, but I still end up working. I end, I end up rooting a little bit on uh, the baby, the last baby that I made, the cuddle, that's actually sold and will be going home as soon as he or she gets here because I get to pick the gender of the mommy set. So, so. Um, I end up rooting on that baby. I end up uh, prepping another uh, full body to go on my table and, um, starting that cuddle with hands and feet. Also started organizing the nursery a little bit more, doing some other things, changing the babies. And then I just decided, you know what? And I said, I'm going to take some time. And I turned on the TV in the nursery and I sat here and I held the babies, held different babies and stuff. And this was one of them and the new baby, Kellen. And I held them. And it just felt so good. I haven't did that in so long. Like, I've been changing out my babies and enjoying my collection, like just looking at them. But it's been so long since I can honestly say that I actually sat down held a baby, you know, really like, you know, looked at them, you know, stuff like, I mean, you know what I mean, up close and while they're in my arms and stuff and how they look. Cause I, it's something I do and I don't know if you guys do this. Like with him, like even if I'm not on camera, I was doing this like with him and seeing like how he looks in my arms. Like if he was like just, this and I, I like to look and see is it believable? Like is it, did he look believable in my arms and um so you guys can't really see. Let me see if I zoom if I zoom in. But I don't know if you guys can see. But his little face, it just yeah. 
I so I really you know I really really realize that I do need to take some time to just take a deep breath and enjoy my collection enjoy my life life is so short and we just don't know you know um sometimes we 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 work too hard and you know we definitely got to keep working out here because we got to feed our families we got to you know we got to keep our house together you know we got to keep our kids together so we do have to work but I think we actually shorten our lifespan when we don't take time to just breathe and then enjoy life and just relax at least for a half a day like you know and so that's why you know I have a problem um my my partner called me and said my life partner called me and said Hey, did you, I'm just calling to see if you're, you know, sitting down, resting like you said you was. And I was like, nope, I'm still up. I haven't sat down since we spoke earlier. And they were like, oh my gosh. Like, I, like, they purposely did not come out to my house. They purposely did not bother me. Just because they wanted me to be resting only to find that I've been working the whole time. So I started telling them all the stuff that I was doing and that I had did already. And it was like, wow. But yeah, um, it's it's very hard for me to still be in bed at 7 a.m. in the morning. Um, I don't even know what time it is now, but it might be past that because I, I actually made myself stay down. And the sun is out, so I know it's, it's going to be around um you know after seven or at least seven <laughs> but i get up sometimes three o'clock in the morning um sometimes i try to stay in bed at least until like five um but i'm usually up by five um a lot of videos that you guys see me making it's five o'clock in the morning sometimes it's 3 a.m sometime you know sometimes it's six sometimes it's seven sometimes i stop midday and make a video but I'm up and I'm up and I'm working. I'm actually working. By 8 o'clock, I've probably done three, four hours worth of work. Like, if I was working eight-hour shifts, by 10 o'clock, especially by 12, I've already worked past eight hours. And some of you guys are just getting started with your day. You know, um, there are some days if I can't sleep and I'm up at 1 o'clock in the morning... Two o'clock. If I go to bed really early, I'll get up really early, and I can't make myself go to sleep. So sometimes I'll get up, and I'll work from like one to maybe four. I'll go back to sleep, get back up at six, and then I'll work all the way back up to probably ten or eleven o'clock at night. And it's it's crazy. It's like I don't even feel it. Sometimes I look at the clock and I'm like, because last night I was getting ready to sit back down to root some more, and I looked at the clock and it was like. It was after nine o'clock. It was actually ten o'clock. Yeah, it was actually, and I was like, "Yeah, I should go to sleep," you know. So, I I either gotta set myself a really good schedule, or I'm gonna be burnt out. And so, um, but I just love what I do. I enjoy it so much, and I love this hobby. I love being able to paint my my babies you know well now i'm slowly rooting my personal collection because as you can see i have so many ball babies um i love it and occasionally if i get blessed enough i can buy a baby from another artist and that's even just even more refreshing um i really love having the box openings but and the you know the new baby and seeing other artists work in person and it's just nice it's nice to have the experience um you know and I'll be totally transparent with you it it actually whether we want to admit it or not it actually lets you see you know what what other artists are doing out here and what you may be doing that's similar or different or what you're you're not as good as it and blah 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 and you shouldn't compare yourself but human nature you kind of compare yourself and I think because 
the only silicone babies that I collect for the last so many years before I started painting were Claire Taylor. I don't, I had one other doll that was painted, two other silicone dolls, three, three, four. No, I have four other silicone dolls. One was a Claire Taylor doll, but was painted by uh, Jeannie Larson. I really liked uh, that one. Um, the other one was, um, the other one was a Lord of Middle Sand doll painted by another artist. The other one was my very first partial, um, by Amy Strickland that was sculpted and painted by her. And then the other one was, oh, um, London by Angela Wilkins. So I have four other ones, but my most recent, all my most recent silicone, full body, partial, whatever I had was painted by Claire Taylor. So I'm looking at master artist work and constantly. So when I start painting, it's like, this is not, this is not good enough. This is not gonna work. This is not good enough. This is not good enough. You know, it's like the, you know, the level of my expectations for myself is way up. Um, probably beyond the, the, the average person because of what I've seen. And then I've been to doll shows and meetups and private meetups. And I've seen so many, so many very expensive dolls. I've seen, you know, Romy Stratums, uh, Joanna K. I've only seen... To be fair, I've only seen two Joanna K. babies. Um, and that was, I think, her older work. More of her older work. Um, I've seen... Uh, who else? Um, this other girl, just something wonder. She just put up a baby just recently. And I actually saw that baby in person and I liked it. I liked her painting too. Um, Janelle something. And then... Um, I've seen, um, uh, what is it, Piper by Selena Saxton's. I've seen her work up, up close in person. I've seen, oh my gosh, I've seen some of everybody. Laura Tutorial's, uh, 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 Laura Tutorial's, I've seen Laura Lee Eagle's, uh, Silicone Quinlan in person. I've seen... Um, Lorna Middle Sands dolls in person. I've seen a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of dolls in person. And so, you know, I, you know, I was very tempted to go to a doll show this year because I'm like, oh, it's a lot of new artists, a lot of stuff change, you know, and these reborn artists are really look like they're doing a really, you know, good job on painting and stuff so I would love to see you know what it's looking like now just in case you know one day I might not want to paint my own silicone you know who would I who would I who would I use um so doll shows usually help with that um doll shows help me to realize like what looks really good on paper but probably most likely is something I wouldn't like in person and some stuff that don't look good in paper on paper on paper meaning on like camera, the, the the videos, the pictures, but probably looks really good in person. Um, being seeing a lot of dolls and different artists work in person kind of helped me with that. Um, there's an artist that I really like. Her work is very clean cut, but it's a little too clean cut for me. Like it's very commercialized. And so when I got to see it at a doll show, I was like, oh, okay, that's one that I know. I like her her work. From afar but not for me personally um and there's others that i've seen i was like oh wow this work is nice <laughs> like your pictures are not doing you justice like you are killing your you know what i mean so um so for all of you guys that's going to doll shows i'm sure you're going to enjoy it because they are so worth it anyway guys i'm going to go <sighs> Oh my gosh. 
holding this little boy is just like he's sleepy too you're sleepy too Ugh, I can't wait to give him hair I think giving him hair is going to make a big difference look at him Let's look. <laughs> it's like I'm so tired too mommy I'm so tired I'm going to put his pants on though eventually but anyway guys I'm glad that I was able to sit down and have a chat with you guys. And I hope you guys enjoy the long videos. I know sometimes it's a little taxing when you're following so many channels. And it's like, oh God, here go a long video, you know. And then I take up all your time. Or you just want to just skim through it. But I'm going to tell you a trick to how I get through a lot of videos at one time. I watch almost everybody's video on I go into the where it has the setting bar and it says the speed normal 1.5 2. I watch everything on 2. <laughs> and it worked so well. The only time I will put it back on normal if it's like a silicone and it's showing movement, then I will put it on normal just so I can see the movement and then once we get past the movement, back to 2. So it gets me if the video is 20 minutes long, I watch it in 10 minutes cuz I put it on 2. So there you have it. If the video is 10 minutes, I watch it in five. And, you know, so on and so on. If it's a video that I, I'm really, really enjoying or if I'm painting or rooting and I just, I, I need something to listen to, I'll let it play on normal speed. But if it's a video that I'm just wanting to get some type of answer or understanding out of and the video is really irritating my soul, I still watch it on too. So, anyway. That is that, and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks again for watching. Oh, and I'm expecting a baby. And this one is not for me. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks, babes. We'll talk later.